Record on. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, meron tayo ulit kakwentuhan na comics creator. Uh, this time, one of the younger creators ulit, uh, si Miss Hansel Dimapilis, a freelance writer, artist, and comics creator. Hello, ma'am. Hello. Sorry, <laughs> di ko alam na yun yung cue ko. <laughs> It's okay. Hi. Yes. For those people na who may be unfamiliar with your work, uh, maybe you could introduce yourself better. <laughs> okay. So, hello. Um, I'm Hansel. Uh, I've been doing this. Uh, I've been making comics for a while now. I started during in college. fell in love with the art form and eventually decided na, okay, this is amazing. Gusto ko siya gawin for the rest of my life. So, <laughs> even though medyo mahirap siya gawin sa Pilipinas, kakayanin, life finds a way kapag gusto mo. <laughs> so, yeah, oh, yeah. So, now diba? I'm working as a freelancer. It's your famous Filipino na saying, pag gusto may paraan. True. Pag ayaw, maraming dahilan. <laughs> Totoo. <laughs> So yun, may, sinabi mo na you fell in love with it. What exactly mm-hmm. made you fell in love with comics? Hmm. Uh, wait, where where should I start? Should I start with the works that influence me the most? Or mm. starting of, parang when I started making comics? Let's start you before is... you made comics. Uh, mm-hmm. Were you a fan of comics? Mm-hmm. Did you... read comics did, did you collect comics you know, mm-hmm. uh, what age were you exposed mm-hmm. to comics and, yeah. and what exactly made you uh, try to make comics mm-hmm. um hmm. uh, because I can't remember you mga first comics that I read but I do remember reading comic strips Then sa mga jario and I and I read them. Kasi parang wait pictures bata ka pa lang and they're fun to like read and they're and funny sila. So I like reading them. And when I was in grade four, I made my own comic book. I think that's the very first one. It, it was called Disaster Ball, and basically it was just para siyang self insert of just me and my classmate just doing like fun stuff sa classroom. So it's been a passage to mga classical. So, para lang siyang fun thing that I share with my classmates. And we were like fighting against yung mga bullies sa klase namin. So, para oh, so yung... basically you were doing yeah. comics about your other classmates. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so, para lang siyang may, yeah, may pagka-self-insert siya. Uh, but the one that really got me into comics was when I discovered anime. So, parang... Eh, di ba, during the, at that time, di ko alam kung saan makakaroon ang mga sunod-sunod na anime. So, puro YouTube lang. Mga, mga What websites. year was this? Ah, <laughs> uh, wait. Anong year ba to? Um, I was in grade 5. So, 2008? Yeah. 2008? Okay. Oh, I'm so yeah. old. <laughs> Yeah, so 2008. Yeah, and then 2008, I remember you, you didn't yeah. have pa yung mga <laughs> sites nun. <laughs> so, and then I watched this anime called Kaichuwa Made Sama. I'm not sure if you know it. Uh, the I think the translation is The President is My Maid. So, yeah. parang yung fun shoujo school life anime. Uh-huh. So, ano na lang muna, sa... bago before you start, full disclosure, yeah. Most of the anime that I know either happened during the 90s or in the very early 2000s. So, what she's saying, I have no idea about it. Go lang. Go lang. <laughs> Sorry. If, if ever, like, a younger... Like, Ayan, a younger I'm sure most of our... If, alam nila yun. This if I have a younger anime. audience na nanonood dito, yan, great. Pairing up, pairing up, nabitin ako dun sa anime. So, I thought, Oh, no, kailangan ko i-watch yung... Kailangan ko, I need to know the rest. And that's when I started reading manga. And it came mm-hmm. to a point na na sobrang obsessed ako sa kanya na ano yung mga illegal manga sites. Every day ko siyang chinecheck. Chinecheck ko lahat ng mga updates doon. Kahit yung mga bago. Yeah. So, that's when I think 
I really liked the form, but I was just a reader then. I never thought of making my own. Making your own. Yeah. Pero you were doing comics. But I only did it anime. once. Uh, yeah, I only did it once. No, uh, yeah. in grade four. Uh, but so it just shows you how effective the anime mm-hmm. manga synergy is. True. Right? If you have something like an anime, it pushes people who are yung parang sobrang nabitin with yung kanilang mm-hmm, napanood true. and they would search out yung source material of what it was adapted from. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I have the similar experiences when I was watching anime pa when I was younger. I still watch ngayon pero in, like I said, most of the <laughs> anime that I watch is yung mga daddy. Pero I had a similar experience when I was yung kung ano man yung available mm-hmm. during that time. Pag yeah. pinanood mo, tapos if you are yung katulad namin na mahilig pagbasa, you can't wait, di ba? Parang di ka yeah. makapaghintay talaga na ano nangyari, ano nangyari. Tapos you'd find out na, uy, meron siyang entire library of work na pwede kong basahin. <laughs> true. Sobrang true. So sobrang, ano na, di ba? May synergy manga. between anime and manga. Yung anime really drives people to buy yung manga. <laughs> That's true. Like, For example, right now, favorite anime ko is Haikyuu. So, a part of me wants to collect everything kapag nakaipo na ako. So, someday. Mm. Someday. Uh, yeah, someday. Um, uh, I think I got into making comics when I read... I'm not sure if you know this one. It's called Bone by Jeff Smith. Yeah, I'm familiar yeah. with Jeff Smith. So, <laughs> when I read that one, it was so funny and Because I'm more, I'm more of a fan of children's books. Kasi. Were you reading yeah. Bone when it was still in black and white or colored? Colored. Ayon colored na. Okay. Yeah. Parang so, bo- siya sa for, for reference ko. lang with our viewers, Bone was an independent, uh, independent comic book developed mm-hmm. by Jeff Smith. It's nung first when it came out, it was black and white, and he, he did like a phone book, enough to fill a phone book na comics and eventually nilabas siya ni I would like to say Scholastic Scholastic ba yung naglabas no uh, colored Wait, version let me lang. check Bone by Jeff Smith mm. it doesn't have the Bone by Jeff Smith cartoon <laughs> books image <laughs> comics Yeah, but that's the uh, imprint ni Jeff Smith before. But uh, the oh, colored okay. versions were released by a bigger publisher. Oh, okay. Yeah, it was Scholastic. <laughs> it was Scholastic. Scholastic. <laughs> so yeah, it's a indie, independent comic book mm-hmm. success actually because it got reprinted by a bigger publisher and mm-hmm. got wider distribution. Uh, ang kulang na lang is an adaptation, a, either a film or a series. Or, di ba? Mm-hmm. Yun. So, Bone. Yeah. Bone yung yeah. talagang yeah. nag-ano sa'yo. It was, that was the one that got me interested in making comics. But, I didn't think na meron akong magagawa sa kanya. What? push really push that sort of like push me to create i have to say was i was in mibf yung manila international book fair and then it just so happened the merong book signing si arnold aridon and then that's when i got introduced to philippine comics so parang hindi ko oh, yung ganda naman ng cover na to like there was a new cover parang wow ang ganda naman dito but that star being like wow oh, ang ganda niya then i checked it And then I had it signed. When I read it, I couldn't drop it. Parang isang best, isang seating ko siya binasa. And I thought, ang galing! I didn't know this existed! Yeah. So, that's yeah. when I got super interested in local comics. Na, uy, mayroon pala tayo mga local creators. And then, I started buying more, more and more, like, local works. Because I thought, lahat ng mga, at, until then, lahat ng mga binabasa ko mga foreign stuff. So, manga, so, American, American graphic novels. Mm. But then, I got, I was in MIBF, I saw that, yung parang, na-blast away lang talaga. Sa ang wow. booth sa MIBF mo nakita si Sir Arnold? It was a second floor. 
second floor siya. Near siya sa Adarna Books. So, para siyang malaking, para siyang malaking open space. Uh, mm. Between the, uh, as, different from the books. Mayroon siyang book signing nun. And then, I decided to go to the next comic and then I bought the rest <laughs> of his graphic novels. Like, okay, I need, I need to read everything. What was the book that for you first bought? Mythology class. Mythology yeah. class. Mythology class. Yeah. Oh, the new cover. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, lahat naman ata nang naka-encounter kay Sir Arnold, yung work ni Sir Arnold, ganyan yung, ganyan yung <laughs> reaction. <laughs> Kasi, up to now, parang still the best at what he does. <laughs> yeah, when, I feel like kasi when it comes to like standalone graphic novels, he's very good at like at least synthesizing the plot yeah. and making it uh, dy- dynamic enough and interesting enough to like keep you reading. Hmm. See, and you discovered Mythology Class around t- 2010 above? Tama ba? The- uh, when did I discover? Parang kano rin, like 2018. Yeah. 2018. Uh, 2018. Yeah, almost so parang two, the same year. Almost two decades after it yeah. came out. <laughs> and still, it, still influential. And, and, and yeah, it, it carries the same reaction with mm-hmm. newer creators like mm-hmm. it did when it first came out. Yeah. <laughs> Galing niya kasi like, and then yeah. after... Kasi no, after, parang yeah. hindi ko ma... Hindi, hindi matatapos yung usapan natin if we just talk about Sir Arnold. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then after Sir Arnold, nabasa ko naman yung Elmer, ni Sir Jerry. Mm. For me, that was... Uh, like in terms of art style, that was a turning point for me. Kasi sobrang ganda kasi... No, sobrang ganda ang detail ng work niya. Na I thought, oh, I want, gusto ko rin ng ganito... I want it to be like this. So, parang, nag ako na, like, at least try to level up my art. Napush ako. <laughs> like, is kind of, this is funny, kasi, you, you mentioned two creators that inspired you to make your own comics. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's the same two creators that inspired me to make comics. I went! <laughs> uh, I, grew, I grew up with those two. I mean, um, mm. I discovered yung art ni Sir Jerry in a in an exhibit sa mm-hmm. what I said Ooh, yes. Ooh. They were launching a comic book and I saw one of yung spreads ni Sir Jerry and when I saw it parang yun yung moment ko na I a Filipino did this mm-hmm. and I could do that as well. Mm-hmm. And yun yung gusto kong gawin sa buhay with my <laughs> sa buhay ko. Diba? When, I, when I saw it, yung mga lines niya, lalo na kapag when it comes to like drawing backgrounds, mm. yung simple shapes lang, so yung also parang each, each Sir Jerry place is yung king, ko. as in yung king ng backgrounds. <laughs> ah, shucks. Ang ganda talaga. Diba? The like, way he does parang, yung texture yeah. ng grass, ng trees, ng mm-hmm. sky. <laughs> like up until now, yun pa rin yung standard na hinahabol ko. Mm. Tapos, and, so and then, Sir Arnold yung king ng storytelling. <laughs> yeah. And then, after, after that one, because there are like three people that local creators that influenced me the most. Then the last one was Emiliana Campilan with Dead yeah. Palagdas. Yeah. Like, I didn't know. I didn't even know that you can do that with comics when I first read it. Parang, what is this? I didn't know this was possible. Parang she like completely overturned kung ano ba yung idea ko of comics. Then made me realize that there's like so much potential with the art form. Yeah. Then I thought, sorry to, like, I, wanted, I want to do this someday. So yeah. so yeah, those are like my three idols which continuously influence me up till today. So, yeah. mm-hmm. Wait. So, yun nga. The next question is what got what was your first comic book? Um, and how did first... you go about making it? So right yeah. after you discovered this wonderful people, right there then and then but you had ideas now of what you mm-hmm. want to do? True. Mm. Although I actually like discovered them while I was making comics. So after our honor, this was Jerry Alvilan, Casey, Mayana Kampilan. So I discovered them slowly. 
throughout the time that I was making comics. Oh, pero you were doing yeah. na, you were planning to yeah. make your own comics na during mm-hmm. that time. Pero yun, Parang, it, it was started with Sir Arnold Allen. Yeah. <laughs> na, Continued. Na, na-discover mo sila. Mm, yeah. Uh, so, my first comics was called Tara. It was actually, I, I call it comic poetry kasi. Because it was a poem na nilagyan ko ng images to sort of like substantiate yung poem niya. So, the poem cannot exist by itself. And the, com- and the wish the images cannot exist by itself by itself friend. Para kasi siya sa isang zine na gagawin ko for UP Ugat, uh, mm. UP Ugnayan ng Manunulat. So, para siyang zine collection of fireworks. And I said, I want to make comics. So, na- pinayaga naman nila ako. And, <laughs> and it, it turned out well. So, and then I decided to like uh, print it on my own. And then I released it sa isang convention. Ma- the first convention I joined was a comic at a comic at 2018, I believe. Yeah. Which one? Mm-hmm. Which comic yet? Uh, it was the one held in February. Ah, February yeah, 2018 comic yet. Yeah. So you released yun Tara mm-hmm. during that event? Yes. Uh, how was it received? Did you sold out? Did you? Uh, I didn't sold out. Although I fully expected naman kasi siya because it's not the usual type of story. I like experimenting with stories. I don't like, mm. as much as possible, I don't want to be held in a box of the types of stories I explore. And I also don't want to be held in a box with the type of art styles I can explore. So if, actually, yung mga people that like, have been like buying my stuff for a while, mapapansin nila na for each work, nag yung art style. Because, palagi ako nag explore ng bagong style na, oh, Pag may nakita ng maganda, oh, this one looks nice. I want to try it next. This one looks nice. I want to try it next. So, palagi siyang nag-iiba. But stuff for me is, what I, whatever fits the story best, I need to adjust my art style. So, yun. Story above everything else. Ganun yung nagiging mindset ko when it comes to, like, making comics. Oh, so, uh, your answer with your style over story is you would choose uh, your story first. Yes, story first. Yeah. This is important. Naman. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, after Tara, mm-hmm. which is, like you said, basically a illustrated na, uh, poetry book, mm-hmm. which you wrote. Illustrated then. poem. Yeah. Uh, illustrated poem. Uh, one, one long, one poem long. Yeah, so after noon, what was your next project? Uh, Lone Cats made from Comic Con. <laughs> from the Comic Con workshop. That was my that was my second one. Oh yeah, oh, nga, pala, no? yeah. So the same year, no? Same year. Yes. 2018 lang ba yun? Yeah, 2018. Yeah, 2018. Uh-oh. So 2018 to ako dun sa Comic Con workshop. Ah, Comic Con workshop. Yeah. Then released uh, Lone Cats. That was in Indicate. Indicate? Yeah. So yung pagita niya was one year lang. No? So you released it on February. Then um, came August. You did not attend Summer Comic Con? Did, I, did you have a table sa Indicate? Man? Yeah, but Summer Comic Con was April. Yeah. Oh, I don't think I did. Parang, ang alam ko palang kasi na convention. Oh, no, wait. I think I attended but as a attendee, not as a to, not as a seller. So, parang mm, attendee. Parang tinitin ako na yung mga works. Uh, yeah. Pero that was yung year that you first attended any event. I'm not sure. Ha. I can't remember. I, alam ko hindi yun yung first one ko because the previous year, my org had a boost. Oh, so, yeah. parang... Uh, your okay. org is... UP Ame. Anime Manga Enthusiast. So, meron kaming booth sa Comic Ed. And then, I decided to join dun sa sumunod na year. Ah, sa Comic Ed. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, parang so, I was just like exploring the convention scene at that time. But I didn't really know how to join. Nalaman uh, ko lang when I rem- learned that a friend of mine was actually like a seller. Sumasali siya sa mga convention. So, nakisali ako sa kanya. 
So, yung next mo, Lone Cats, was more, mas standard na na comics. Yeah, mas standard uh, na comics. So, so, how was it? How, how, how was yung, may difference ba with your experience with selling Tara and Lone Cats? I think for Tara, uh, since it was an unconventional, like, sort of, like, comic, uh, there were people who were, there were, like, very specific types of people who were interested na parang stilalate talaga yung mga types na they're looking for something a bit different. But for, like, lone cats, it more, yung mga cat lovers specifically, they're, like, mga interested sa pets. They were the ones who were, like, checking the book when it mm-hmm. comes to lone cats. So you, you sold it sa uh, Indicate. How many copies mm-hmm. did you printed of lone cats? I think I printed 70. Yeah. 70? Wow. 70. But I only was able to sell, like, mga 30, 30. 30 pieces. Still good. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> um, meron kang mga uh, masishare na, mas, ma, na experiences during those events na you would like na tawag, sorry, hindi ako oh, umuulan kasi hindi ko rin marinig yung sarili ko. <laughs> Uh, ano yun? Uh, masishare sa mga viewers na memorable para sa'yo? Um, I think, like, wait, which one? For Tara or Lone Cats? Any, both? any. Either for both. It's your first year of exhibiting. Yeah, it's my so first year. Any of the events that you attended during that year, what mm-hmm. stuck with you the most? It was yung, just the realization that I could create something and there are people who are willing to pay for that something. Now, there are people interested in your work. Na, oh my gosh, my... Because at that time, uh, hindi ako masyadong nagdo-drawing. Uh, I barely drew. It was only actually during in preparation of conventions na nagdo-drawing ako. Kasi syempre, kailangan gumawa ng mga merch, kailangan gumawa ng comics. So, that was the only time I drew. And it was like a great motivator for me. Because, yeah, at that time, no, yeah, we were long during conventions. And I guess in that regard, medyo unpolished. When I look back, medyo unpolished pa siya. It was only this, actually, it was only last year that I really like started drawing seriously. Na, okay, mag ako. I'm gonna draw. I'm gonna do my best to improve. So, yeah, but I think the great motivator siya when you see that there are people who are interested in your work. Lalo na, for example, when you post online, tapos, for example, wala pang ganong following and you don't, you know, and then wala kang masyadong reacts or anything. So it, it can, like, make you feel sad. But when you're in a convention, there are people passing by and boost and there are people showing interest. So maganda siyang pampaboost ng confidence, mm. I think, during that time. Yeah, actually, I was following your page. Tapos, I'm parang na-impressed ako every time na mag-post ka ng pages ng works mo, not pages. As in, yung background, you were ah, working yes. on how to do your background. Mm-hmm. Then you were working on your color, your palette, mm-hmm. and then you were working. Mm-hmm. <laughs> every time you post, parang, wow, galing, parang pagaling lang pagaling si Hansen. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I really wanted because you know, I only started drawing seriously last year and I felt like so left behind compared to my peers ko na marang mas kaige ko or mas bata sa akin tapos sobrang galing nila so parang I thought kailangan ko humabol so I decided to like I need to put in the work I need to get better so you know, happy to show naman na yay I have improvements it, it's not yet dun sa gusto ko, but it's getting there. So, yeah. it just goes to show nga na lagi, yung laging pinapound dito sa kwentuhan na if, if you just like mm-hmm. do, you, study, you, you study the theory pero you don't do the application, wala kang magagawa. Wala talaga mangyayari dun sa art mo. Mm-hmm. Kaya kailangan nyo talaga mag-drawing every, any, every chance that. you get. Oh, every chance you mm-hmm. get as in apply nyo yung natututunan mm-hmm. nyo. Mm-hmm. 
I think connected na rin siya dun sa idea na I always change yung art style ko with each mm. comic. Because at that time, I didn't have a style. I didn't have an idea of what I wanted my art to look like. So parang each time I see something nice, I always just adjust to it. Mm. Parang, okay, parang gusto ko to. Then it keeps just developing over time. So you can say na yung development of my art style is very connected to sa art style ko for my comics. So you can literally track it. And then you can see your influences. Niya. So, ngayon, parang yun, ngayon lang nang nagsisinkin sa akin na, oh my gosh, I've come so far. <laughs> it's, an, it's a bit of an overwhelming thing. Yeah. yeah. So, you, uh, whenever you approach a new project, Mm-hmm. Um, this, like you know, when we started before we recorded the conversation I asked you how many titles you already made and you mm-hmm. mentioned it's around seven yeah, and seven. you just started in 2018 and that's like more than some of the Ibanating creators that have been doing this for like a decade <laughs> really I thought it was just because now one shot sila so no, they're easier uh, to make I sometimes uh, me naman as in it's a good amount of title for a creator and mm-hmm. like you and and, and ito, unlike you most of the other newer creators during my time they prefer mm-hmm. doing series oh uh, and ang masama dun is we have a lot of unfinished works oh, okay. uh, was it a conscious decision on your part na gumawa ng one shots only Mm. Um, for me, personally kasi, mas nagbabasa ako ng one-shots. I like something I can read in a sitting. And I know kasi na hindi ako makakommit sa series. So, mm. I don't do them unless na I, parang if I start something, I want to finish it. Ah. So, if I know na hindi ko siya matatapos, I'd rather not start it na lang. Or at least, I make it like a standalone comic. Na you can like expand it, but you can read it by itself. Uh-huh. So that's yun, yun yung parang mindset ko when it comes so more to making a project. More episodic than mm-hmm. something na may cliffhanger. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Though yung mythology clash, mythology class, <laughs> when it was originally Oh, yeah. It was like released. separate, no? Chapters. Yeah, it was four chapters. Mm-hmm. It was released in two years, three years. I forgot na. Mm-hmm. But yeah, after that, Ata, si Sir Arnold started making books na lang. When, yun nga, uh, if you have heard yung kwentuhan namin ni Sir Ian, mm-hmm. after mythology class, Sir Arnold would just like announce that he would be releasing something. Mm-hmm. And then everyone, everybody would be like amazed that it's an actual graphic novel, like 200, mm-hmm. 300 pages. <laughs> Ang galing nga eh. Ah, sipag Sir. Yeah, yeah sipag. Masipag talaga. Masipag. <laughs> And hindi lang masipag, magaling talaga. Since magaling. True! <laughs> oh my gosh! Uh, keeping, so, keeping the standard high. <laughs> yeah. Parang oh, nobody comes near pa rin. <laughs> <laughs> so, ano, ano. Uh, with, after Lone Cats, mm-hmm. what were the projects na na favorite mo? Na naging yung kung masasabi mo na if somebody reads it right now yun yung signature mm-hmm. na Hans Hansel ayun <laughs> do you uh, have a specific title na ganun for me right now it would be smile yeah smile smile ah, yeah. Yeah. which is available small, sa pen lab mm-hmm. it, yeah it will be available sa pen lab this weekend uh, sa pen lab um, day which yeah, would be on day. Sunday. The 5th. The 5th. Yeah, on the 5th. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yun yung, yung talaga yeah. yung favorite mo. As in, uh, yeah, was yeah. it re- ever released as a physical book? Yes, it was released no 2019 February Comic Ed. So, after a year, nung nirelease ko yung Tara, I released Smile. And it's mm-hmm. so, so far, my favorite project talaga. Talaga. Like, even now, when I'm drawing, like, mga longer series, for example, Spirit Sprints, uh, so, mas longer series siya. 
I, I always come back to that comic. Like, if I were to, like, among why it works, now I'm really proud of. It's the one that I would want to share with people. Yeah. Mm. So if, if somebody asks you which title that you have produced, I would buy. Yun yung ituturo mong title yeah. talaga. Smile. Yeah. Smile. What, can you tell us something about it? What's it about? Um, it's a uh, full color. It's the first comic na nirelease ko in full color. Oh, it's in full color. Okay. Uh, it's a full color serialist comic. Yeah, so, it's a serialist slice of life comic. Hmm. When you About, say surreal, how would you define it? <laughs> it's just sort of like, it's not fantasy, but it kind of like breaks the mga. How do you say it? I can't, even I can't I fully explain it. Uh, sort of like breaking. So, it's like spec fic where you need to take elements of a page and just like max it out. Mm. Yeah, I guess for me. Is it so still available, the physical copy of the book? Yes, is it, it available is still available. Yes. Anywhere? Where? Uh, no, <laughs> actually, I have stocks. I had plans to sell it in conventions. However, kasi, uh, right now, I'm staying in the province and my stuff is in Manila. So, oh, I get it. Okay. There, there are people who have been asking kung pwede nilang makuha siya. They can like purchase it pa, pwede deliver nilang. But since I can't access right, them right now, that is a pandemic, hindi ko siya ma- I can't tell them that. Oh. Sorry, hindi ko sila ma- But yeah. it's going out on Pen Love Day. So if you want to read it, please do. Sayang. So I was gonna order yeah. na. <laughs> it's okay. You can you can read it on Pen Love. Yeah. yeah. And, if, and if you're interested in that, I'm not sure if I have there. it. Because I, I usually well, passed by your... I think it was... I'm not sure, but parang si Mom Sherry at I think she bought a copy because she she came yeah, by our base. Yeah, a problem sure. right now is we have like um 15 boxes here of oh in these, and usually because Sherry would hate na I just keep it around, so he would yeah. he would usually yeah uh, tidy up your room mm-hmm. and put it in a box and in yung hirap pa natin. <laughs> <laughs> Like if. If ever, do I don't, I'm not, you know, I think na si Ma'am Sherry, she bought a copy, but it's just like a small 4x4 four four comic. I had to make it 4x4, I had to make it 4x4 four four kasi mahal magpaprint. Yeah, yeah, mahal magpaprint yung, uh, yeah, mahal magpaprint ng color. Mahal magpaprint ng color. Ako na lang yung nag-cut and nag-staple. <laughs> kasi, uh, a lot of us do that. Para uh, to minimize yung cost. Yeah, costs. And, and yeah, I mean, tinuturo ko dito, so you could just, you could, you could actually go to different suppliers. Mm. Uh, mas mura yung interiors dito. You do your mm. interiors dyan. Mas mura yung cover dito. You do true, your covers true. dyan. Tapos you bring it home. Tapos you put it together. Yep. Yeah, or um, you could self, just hire somebody else to put it together. Like pay someone like 200 to put everything together. <laughs> <laughs> well, self-assembled. Self-assembled. Assembled with love. <laughs> <laughs> so yung Yung, uh, so smile is yung you would yung pinaka you would endorse to yeah. somebody that would mm-hmm. be looking for a signature Hansel de Mapilis na work. Yes. And la, uh, up to now, pinag uusapan natin, most of your projects are solo projects, meaning mm-hmm. ikaw yung artist, ikaw din yung writer. Uh, sometimes ikaw din yung nagbubuo ng comics. <laughs> 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 Di ba nga, ang komikero, Multitasker. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I don't think that you have a problem naman with like um, marketing your work. or uh, No, I, I have a big problem with it. <laughs> but um, I, I'm just not very good at marketing. But um, like inside story lang. Like the other day when we were promoting Spirit Sprints, Bernie was telling me, no, you need to be more proud. Hype yourself more. Tapos ngingiti na lang ako sa kanya. Like. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah. Sinabi ni Bernie and I was inviting si Bernie here sa kwentuhan and, and he said na masyado siyang shy yung mga kwentuhan. So, 
I'm not sure kung gagalit. Isang, I feel na kapag sa close friends, talkative siya. But when it comes to like the public, medyo but, shy type siya. Yeah, but he's very naman vocal pu- naman online. Parang hindi naman to public. Tayo, tayo lang to. As in, nobody Actually, really listens to this. As in, <laughs> most of most of yung mga listeners natin are actually comics creators. <laughs> so, parang within the community. Uh, hopefully, yeah. some other people would listen oh, to yeah. it. Kasi the, believe, sir. Yung, believe. Oh, uh, yeah. Yung rationality would be to introduce our comics creator better. Mm-hmm. And yeah. parang, di ba? To inspire others na gumawa din ng comics. Kasi, like, sinabi ng iba nating creators when they started out they did not know na pwedeng kahit sino gumawa ng comics <laughs> they didn't know? as in that... they didn't know as in oh. parang it's also a matter of yung communication skills din mm. ng events lalo na with oh, okay. Comic Con Comic Con has been around for 15 years and most of the time yung mga creators don't really know na uy pwede pala silang sumali doon <laughs> oh I didn't know pala. <laughs> you know, kasi mayroon mga like events usually. Ayun din yung problem mm. with yung marketing din. So, ulang din kami sa Yeah, marketing. mahirap talaga yung marketing. Yeah. It's like, it's a, it's a, uh, you know, I mean, you can like create the best work, but if you don't reach your audience, just parang sayang lang. Mm. So, yeah, how, marketing how is, is your important. experience with selling, or selling uh, in, real, in real life events? I'm, I'm bad at it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm very bad at it. Uh, yeah. Mm, as as in you don't talk to your. Like, uh, I mean, I talk to them, prior. but I, I'm not very good at like hyping the the comic book. Parang mm. it's it's basically about cat. Parang usually the people who approach my table, they're already like very interested na dun sa work, and then they're gonna buy it. Parang I really like talk to them about it. So. I mean, I, I just feel kind of shy. Or maybe there's this part of me thinking na, no, I want I want to let the work speak for itself. Ayoko in, i-color yung uh, yeah. vision nila. Oh, mayroon, mayroon naman talagang buyers that hate it. Yeah. Though most of them buyers that hate it are mostly katulad din natin na, yeah. <laughs> na ayaw lang makipag-usap actually. Pero most of the <laughs> other normal people, <laughs> normal people, <laughs> if they approach you, it's like half the sale na. Since they are interested, so it's up to you to close the deal. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I'm, I'm just not. I'm not that good at it. So I'm well, like, I'm very thankful to be working with people. Na marunong mag marketing. <laughs> yeah, na Bernie and Nina. Marunong sila mag marketing na. Kung hindi kalamong, like you need to like release really stuff. Parang mua ka na mga works in progress, mga screenshots. So those little things. Parang for before kasi inaisip ko na no kapag ilalabas mo dapat finished product na but sometimes mm-hmm. it would be good to like you know upload stuff na works in progress to like show na oy we're working yeah. ang ginagawa kami yeah to build hype yeah. then to build yeah, hype to build for hype. the box mm-hmm. yeah so mer- so there is that aspect na oh. hindi ko ni consider before but so you, you don't really consider yourself as good at marketing i would parang your first impression to with you would be yun nga as in you would you would know yung thing mo <laughs> no no <laughs> you sound so confident as in uh i sound confident when i'm behind that icon pero in real life hindi <laughs> lang ako or i'm just going to pretend na oh, famous na ako. well yeah so, i am yeah. understandable naman kasi most of us mm-hmm. naman ganun talaga La- yeah so, hanggang ngayon naman ganun din ako sometimes mm-hmm. yung diba yung facade ng when you are in a in a real life event na mukha ako mm-hmm. suplado it's because i don't want to talk to people <laughs> oh Yun lang yun. Uh, kaya natutulog ako dun sa booth ko. <laughs> Which is <Funny>. bad. Uh, <laughs> for, for, you, uh, for you mga creators that are just looking to start, actually, those, those mm. mga bad examples yun. I mean, you should engage everyone that yeah. comes near your table. Uh. Yeah. Parang, yun nga, as the common thing, you need to hype yourself up. Mm. Because as much as possible, pa? make yourself look available. Since most of you mga Filipinos are really polite by nature, so if mm-hmm. they see that you're doing something like you're doodling or you're drawing, yeah. you most of the time it. they would 
think na you're too busy so they would oh. uh, lili- ang iisipin nila is ay balik na lang ako mamaya oh. pag hindi na busy si ma'am hindi na busy si sir yeah mm-hmm. for, for me usually nagtatago lang ako behind the mga prints yeah yeah yun yung sinasabi <laughs> kasi may mga grids tapos magtatago lang ako na sa ikod nun like, so, yeah, doon okay. na uso yung grid may taguan na eh pero feel free to approach Uh, feel free to approach. Actually, and nga, I think in, uh, I was point up the point that I was trying to make is in nga, make yourself look available. Mm-hmm. As in, make yourself look approachable. Sometimes, yung doing just yung book is not enough. Like yung pinag-usapan namin, as in, you have to market parin yung book. Yeah. Uh, parang hindi lang siya enough na yung letting your work speak for yourself. Because sometimes. Yeah sa dami ng books around, it, it would get lost. Diba? Yeah, it's hard, it's hard to stand up. Mm. So, yun. Kasi, wala. Yun lang talaga yung magagawa natin. Like, sabi nga mm-hmm. ni Hansel, parang si Comicero is do it yourself and multi-past Persia. So, yeah. aside from doing the comic books, you have to you adapt din yung role as the salesperson mm-hmm. and you also have to adapt the role as the marketer. Mm-hmm. Tapos, yeah, yung mga ganong stuff. And sometimes, pag it would equate to yung sales mo if you don't do those stuff. I miss conventions. I miss Ay, them yeah. so much. Um, yeah, <sighs> which is, yeah. Uh, yun, kaya ko rin ginagawa to kasi I miss conventions. <laughs> yeah, I miss conventions. <laughs> so, Parang oh. kasi siyang big motivator eh, kapag conventions. Oh, hmm. I need to like do something new. Something yeah, like especially mm-hmm. yung energy with the other creators around. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, you, you can't replace that with any Zoom meeting, actually. Yeah. And then sometimes, kasi like, you'll just like discover somebody new na hindi mo kalara. So, may ma- itong art nila. So, may, so, parang you find someone new to follow. Kasi minsan, it's hard, actually difficult na maghanap sa online. And like, for example, sa convention, na nakikita mo agad Mm. It's the same experience yeah. that I was talking about with yung local na comics natin before. Mm. Yung, yung thrill of discovery. Yeah. Uh, kasi, di ba, if you like look for a comic book online, you were you are actively looking for that book. Mm-hmm. Meaning, di ba, if you go to a comic book platform, mm-hmm. you you're actively looking for something to read na comics, di ba? True. Uh, yung, when we were kids, we had the experience that yung thrill of discovery that we weren't expecting to find anything there. I mean, yeah. uh, most, yung most of the stories that I have was yung, uh, you'd get dragged by your mom to a salon because you have to wait for like an hour while she gets things done sa hair and pedicure, manicure niya. Tapos yung only respite mo would be a stack of comic books done she would discover mm-hmm. something else. Parang wala na yung ganung stuff yeah. ngayon for kids. Except, yeah. of course, when you go to a comics convention. <laughs> yeah. And there's just parang something so so fulfilling. Yung, kapag, for example, you discover someone new, and mm-hmm. then you get to buy their stuff, and you get to bring it home. Uh-oh. As in, mm-hmm. ano nga eh, yung, yung feeling na yun is parang unti-unti nang nawawala, especially yeah. with yung uh, before kasi, I go to a bookstore, I have no idea what will I find. Not unlike now, na I could go to like a fully book na fully book na website, check out what's new, then go to a branch. <laughs> During no, when I was younger, I would go to bookstores without really any ex- expectation of what I would find sa mga <laughs> shelves niya. And sobrang nakakatawa yung parang makakita ka na, uy, mayroong bagong ganito. Uy, may bagong ganito. Actually, for me, like, each time pumasok sa book, I think that's one of the things that I really miss. Excuse me. About yung pre-COVID. Because before the lockdown, I always go to bookstores. Didiretso ako dun sa graphic novel section. Tapos, check ko lang ano may, may, may mayroong bago. Is there some, mm-hmm. like, something new? May hindi ako tumingin sa mga book sale. Kasi sometimes mm. like you find books, you actually find graphic novels there na yeah. you didn't think you'd expect to find but when you find it, okay, oh, ito kasi, ang ganda niya, full color! 150 pages! Tapos mura lang. 
Uh, sa so, pag tapos ng pandemic na to bukas pa yung book sale kasi book Ay, sale yeah, is yeah, like true. magical na place talaga. True, true. Para na mo na-discover doon, you wouldn't think of like seeing seeing it. But pag, kapag na, meron ka nahanap na parang uh, parang super gandang libro at like a discounted price, you feel like you found a, tr- a special treasure. Mm-hmm. Now you get to bring home like I need to buy this. This is mine. I found it. So, sobrang yeah. miss ko na yung ganun. Sana meron pa after nito. <laughs> Actually, sana meron pa. Uh, ayun, let's talk about yung upcoming na work mo mm-hmm. uh, sa PenLab. PenLab is branching out into publishing, right? Yep. And yep. part of yung kanilang initial lineup of books that will come out is one of your books. Uh, yes. A collaboration between uh, Sir Bernie and Ma'am Nina mm. and you. Mm-hmm. What can you tell us about Spirit Sprints? Uh, Spirit Sprints is a comic series that's an... Uh, wait. It's an Isikai Rural Children's Fantasy Series about a, shaman, a young shaman called Rara Balete. And she's basically just discovering her powers and ancestry, and parang and basically how she's going to like cope with both. Yeah. So she's also uh, it's like yung mga concepts na explore niya is siya ancestry, um identity and the concept of death, especially for somebody who's young, somebody who's just lost someone they love. So that's the sort of idea na in-explore ng book. So, when can we expect the book to come out? Bernie, uh, Bernie yung sa asking, kaya ba siya ng 2022? But I'm personally not sure. Uh, because, so, I desi- uh, because I decided to go full color. Like, I, ayan, because I wanted I, to see I, it in I, full I'm color. I'm seeing yung nakalagay dito, coming to Penla Fresh in late 2000. 2022 or early 2023. Sabi ko, Bernie, baka hindi ko kaya yung 2022. Wow, so you're so doing it full 2020. color and yes. how many pages will it be? Uh, dito, uh, we're aiming kasi for at least 96 pages. Wow. Pero kasi, yung first chapter pa lang, it's like 33 pages na. So, I'm not sure kung lalagpas kami sa 96 or basta, yeah. I'm not sure if I'm not And will we expect it to be a finished story? Or I know. It's a chapter yeah. book. Uh. It's going to be a long series from what I know. <laughs> from what I know. Cool. So, yun. As in, uh, part of the reason why I invited you is yun nga, you are mm-hmm. part of yung Uh, it's a new line of books which is mm-hmm. exciting talaga na uh, every time na may maglabas ng bagong publisher with a new lineup of mm-hmm. local books sobrang exciting for me mm-hmm. uh, I'm, i'm sure most of yung mga collectors and readers then is excited about it uh, and uh, you are partnered with uh, mm-hmm. which publisher pop psychom uh, one, one of the older publishers that have ventured into comic mm-hmm. book than yeah. before. So, really excited about that. Mm-hmm. And will we see then a preview na lang ba? Or yeah. will you uh, be uploading I mean, the chapters sa uh, PenLab? I know that we plan to upload the whole chapter one. The whole on chapter Penlab. one. Yeah, the Pero chapter the book one. will be how many chapters? Uh, at least three chapters. Yeah, At least three, three chapters. chapters. Yeah. So, Again, everybody's yeah. excited about it. I mean, yeah. um, I mean, I hope so. <laughs> I'm not sure if this interview will come out before. Mm-hmm. Now, it probably won't come out before. Mm-hmm. Pero sa September 5, meron, uh, you could just see, meron silang videos in a Bernie that they will be announcing yung whole lineup nyo, di ba? <laughs> well, I, I already know them, so... Yeah, so, yeah, and then, this is for the I know this is for yeah. the viewers and mm-hmm. and probably you already watched it by the time this interview comes out. Because mm-hmm. <laughs> it's okay for like before before this came out. Yeah. Mm. 
Ah, kasi yeah. ano yun, di ba? Sa Sunday, September 5. September 5 din ba yung mm. ano nila? Yung, they have a panel sa, sa pick-off. Oh yeah, I, it's also the same day. So, on the, like, very busy day. So, yeah, very busy day. As in, maraming mm-hmm. stuff going on yeah. with that. So, um, to end yung ating kwentuhan, mm-hmm. maybe you, you could give a uh, one piece of advice for someone that's trying to create their first comic book or graphic novel. Trying to create their first um for for me right now i'd give two pieces of advice the first is sabi nga ni nike just do it you won't para me it's it's a daunting experience but once you start it it gets you going and then uh we can because you know experience creators can like say it's experience experience but it's very different from when you start doing it and then you discover your own processes, you find out what you like. So, it, and, and super even feeling when you like view the project as a whole. Like, makita mo lahat yung pages, nakascatter, tas kompleto na siya. It's, it's very, it's like a very satisfying feeling. And then, my second piece of advice is don't let go. So, Kapit lang. It's, it's, you know, um, making comics, it's a very long process. Iba nga usually na kailang pages lang. Feeling mo parang ang daming ginagawa. But the end result, no matter kung gano man yung reception niya, as long as you're happy, happy with it, it's, it's going to be a very satisfying and fulfilling feeling for you. Parang iba yung feeling na, OMJ finished it. Para ka nagrun ng marathon and you just you're running a marathon na kung for example solo artist ka you feel like you just won gold and then kapag naman you're working with collaborators like you all ran together it's like and you all cross the finish line I can that's like the closest thing I can compare it to but kung nakaran ka ng marathon you would know the feeling na natapos mo siya like yes finally yeah so yun just do it and don't let go. Good points, kay ma'am. Hans, uh, thank you again for doing this. Sabi mo, ano, medyo shy ka. Yeah. Bata mo lang kapag may icon. Pero kapag kita yung mukha. <laughs> Hi. Wala na sana, as in sana na lang ako nakikita ko yung <laughs> Ayaw, ayaw na rin akong paki kung kapan yeah. ko o hindi. Pero yun nga, thank you ulit yeah. for your yeah. kwentuhan. Uh, uh, happy to be here. And thank you sa lahat ng nanood, nakinig sa amin. Uh, yeah. Please do leave a like, share this video to your friends. Subscribe kung gusto nyo if you want to follow our kwentuhan with other comics creators. Pero kung ayaw nyo naman, it's 4 o'clock every day, nag-drop ako ng kwentuhan. So bye guys, see you sa mga susunod na videos. And oh wait, I forgot. Ah, uh, socials ni Ma'am Hansel. Ah. <laughs> Hello. Um, you can find me online on FB, uh, Instagram and Twitter at just Hansel Art. So for Instagram, it's more of finished pieces. Facebook is anything from references to updates. Twitter is more for updates. So So, yun. so yeah. Follow natin si Ma'am follow yung mm-hmm. works niya. Hopefully, maging available ulit yung books niya. Oh, well, uh, pagkatapos ng pandemic pa to. Oh. So, please. <laughs> so, yun, guys. Uh, yun, bye-bye na talaga. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> bye-bye.